All right, people, Big Ed here, doing a little video. You gotta love yard sales, man. I just came from a, a couple yard sales. I got this little box of tools for two bucks. Got a nice Duralast ratchet with an extension. I got a Craftsman ratchet. Some funky looking pliers. Ain't never seen nothing like that. They sure don't shut all the way. <laughs> Maybe they're designed that way. See what else I got in here. Some Stanley wire cutters. No, that ain't bad. Chisel. Crescent wrench. Like some kind of scissors. You know, for two dollars, can't beat it. And I got these little bags of uh, wrenches. The ratchet wrenches. Two dollars for each bag. Got that bag. And I got this bag. I got these uh, for my vise. You put these in so you don't scratch up. They got a little rubber across. So when you go to grip something down, I got them for a dollar. Plus they're made out of aluminum. And they got that rubber piece on there. You set them in the vise and then put whatever you're gonna wrench down on. Doesn't tear it up too bad. I got a bodyguard, a new bodyguard for the shop. Old Frisius Big Boy. He was a dollar. It's actually a piggy bank. You put money in in the back part. Then I, I got this. 50 cent. That's a solid piece of brass right there. I put that in my brass pile. Um, then I went uh, on Marketplace. I found these two CV carburetors and got a rebuild kit also that came with it. CV carb uh, rebuild kit and a mirror. Got that for $35. Um, during bike week, I went to a swap meet. Hey Mo, if you're listening, these are the floorboards I was telling you I got um, that are longer than uh, my electric glide ones. But I picked up these floorboards. I'm going to have to fabricate a way to mount them. Let's see how they compare in size to this one. I got them for uh, Gypsy here. Yeah, they're bigger. And these 
these mounting parts, those mounting brackets right there are too long. So I was trying to fabricate some way, but I, did, I ran out of time messing with it. But yeah, I love hitting yard sales, especially when they got tools. Um, oh, I got another thing out at the swap meet. Thing about putting this on the front of Gypsy. <laughs> it's a hood ornament for a car. I'm not putting it on this bike. I'm gonna try to keep this one nice and get her fixed up. And just take her out every once in a while. Gypsy's my main girl. You hear that, baby? See, I still got you all wrapped up because you're special. But, uh, yeah, some of the stuff I got. I love motorcycle swap meets, man. It's like, it's like a kid in a candy store. This motorcycle stuff is getting addictive. I gotta, um, I gotta start getting busy on, uh, this year I'm gonna I'm gonna start um, cleaning out uh, the house and try to get things in order. I'm gonna get my uh, cremation plans all settled out and everything, and then uh, want to go ahead and pay for my cremation so my niece doesn't have to deal with it. And then, um, as far as in, in the house goes, I'm, I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of stuff in the house, downsizing, so whenever I go, she don't have to deal with a lot of stuff. But motorcycle stuff, I'm going to keep piling that shit on. <laughs> She'll have to deal with all the motorcycle stuff, because I, I can't, I don't tools and motorcycle stuff I hate hate to get rid of but I do every once in a while get rid of some stuff but um anyway I just want to do a little video slick got your shirt on buddy I wore it for uh Willie's chopper chopper uh chopper show over there in Norman Beach and I showed it at the end uh at the end of the video, it showed me wearing it. But I exposed you to all the people there at Willie's Tropical Tattoo Chopper Show. Shout out to Hippie. Hippie's Chopper Corner. I gotta get a shirt from you, Hippie. Um, Iron Head Sally. Mo, All y'all. I try to give everybody a shout out when I can. But, um, well, I'm getting a brain fart now. And I'm getting back to work. I'm trying to straighten up. I'm fixing a, I'm fix, fixing to wash the shovel head. And then when she gets, when she gets dry, she's going in the shed because I want to go through all the fluids and, just give her a, a once over and start addressing some of the situations. I got a another spring ordered because it's missing the uh, kickstand spring down there. But I want to try to get her cleaned up a little bit. I don't know what this stuff is right here. Looks like it might have leaked from pet cock or something I want to pull these plugs too I'm gonna to pull the plugs and look at them I've got a camera I can go down in the cylinder and look down in there so but yeah it's got some nice chrome I'm you know chrome don't get you home but it does look good 
But uh, all this stuff is pretty nice. Got a real nice crash bar. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Until all the problems uh, surface. But uh, anyways, peace out, people.